Hey, it's really nice to be here. I'm Jeff Jefferson. Actually, I'm formally known as James Jefferson from Madison, Wisconsin. I am a clinical professor of psychiatry at the university, and I have a few other titles which I won't go into right now. I'm going to give you a few tips about how you might manage patients with bipolar disorder who are now in the geriatric age category. Tip number one. There are no good scientific data to suggest a treatment. Tip number two, what we do in geriatrics, we tend to extrapolate from a younger group of patients. Keep in mind that the older people get, the more likely they are to have additional medical illnesses and additional psychiatric illnesses. They are at higher risk for drug interactions. Put all these together, you have a challenge in front of you. If we break bipolar disorder down into mania, depression, and maintenance therapy, we'll start with mania. If you look at the drugs approved in general for treating mania, lithium, divalprox, a host of antipsychotics, and even controlled release carbamazepine. How well do they work in the elderly? They probably do, but we don't know for sure. And we do know in the elderly that they are more prone to side effects and drug interactions. So minimizing problems are quite important. Geriatric patients are also at higher risk for dementia. And we know that there's concern about using antipsychotic drugs in demented patients. The usual rules apply. Start low, go slow, do careful evaluations of benefit and side effects. You can still use blood levels of many of these medications that can be helpful. That's acute mania. And for the most part, acute mania is the easiest aspect of bipolar disorder to treat across all age groups. We get to bipolar depression. What's approved for bipolar depression? olanzapine fluoxetine combination and quetiapine, but not specifically in geriatrics. What about conventional antidepressants? The weight of the evidence says that they do not work, period. Now, I just was speaking to a very large group today, and I said, how many of you out there have patients on antidepressants, bipolar geriatric patients and antidepressants, hands go up all over the place. So I do think there's something there, but one has to do a trial, an individual trials with these medications. You can't throw a whole class of drugs out the window because of a statistical observation. What do we know about maintenance therapy for bipolar depression in the elderly? There it is, nothing, no good data. So again, we apply the drugs that have been approved in younger populations to the elderly. And we keep in mind that when you're dealing with the older patients, the drugs that might have been well tolerated in younger people may not work at all. And you're dealing with elderly who now are accruing psychiatric illnesses, particularly dementias, and you're looking with a group of, at a group of patients who are on more and more other medications. So think drug interactions. Okay? Cause and effect, balance, treatment response in each individual patient against the risks of side effects and drug interactions.